Hi folks, Russ here from ProSteam UK. What you are looking at is a well used carmine floor in this property. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna deep clean it and we are going to reseal it using Dr. Schutz PU Anti-Color. Um, so we're gonna have a quick walk through. We're gonna just have a look at the floor before we start. So um, as you can see, we've got a scratch there right in the middle of the picture. And the floor is full of scratches and scuffs. The customer has been maintaining it using the appropriate products from Cardine. So it has got a little bit of a, a sheen to the floor, but um, the flooring is, is scratched and scuffed. <clears throat> now, as we walk through here to the kitchen, the, those scratches and scuffs become a lot more noticeable, as you can see there, right in the, in the middle of the picture. What we also have is discoloration from where uh, matting has been laid on the floor. A quick tip, guys. Um, if you do have Cardine, never, ever, ever put rubber matting on Cardine or Antico because this is exactly what happens. Okay, it's called off-gassing. And it's, it's a chemical reaction between uh, the rubber and the, uh, and the plastic, basically. And it's there for life. So just looking in this corner, we can see some scratches. Okay. Now, the idea is to clean, deep clean this floor and get it as clean as possible before we apply our PU sealer. Okay, and we've got a ring here to do. And we're going to be using a machine that cleans corner to corner, edge to edge. And here it is. Okay, and that will scrub the floor, removing contamination, dirt. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll clean it first, we'll come back and have a look at the floor once it's been cleaned. And stripped. Uh, what you won't see is uh, a reflection off that floor once it's been stripped. Well there you have it folks. What you're looking at now is a floor that's been cleaned, stripped, sealed using uh, our PU sealer. Okay and um, it's looking really nice now. Two coats and uh, it's, it's difficult to actually see those scratches now because the, the PU sealer has kind of masked them. Uh, that's probably the best way to, to explain how it works. Um, but uh, there you go. The floor looks really, really nice. There's a lot of sun coming through this conservatory, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to to maybe focus in on, on some of those um, scratched areas. But, I mean, there was an area here, if you remember earlier, that was really, really quite badly scratched. Um, and now those scratches are, are simply just not visible. Um, if I move over to here, do you remember? It's kind of like a breakfast bar area. And apart from the discoloration from, the, uh, uh, from where uh, some matting has been, um, there were, some really nasty scratches here um, and I can't see them. It's very difficult to see them. So the products uh, can actually breathe new life into old floors. The cost of replacing this floor is about 38 square meters. Um, on average, you're looking at around about 50 or 60 pounds a square meter. Um, to, to replace uh, luxury vinyl tile, you've got to take it up, you've got to dispose of it, you've got to then make good the subflooring for the new stuff to go down. It's a huge expense and it does have an impact to uh, the environment because this, uh, this type of material um, has to go into landfill unfortunately. So, um, so it's probably not a good idea to uh, to to actually 
to get it all taken up and, and that when we can we can improve how it looks uh, simply by refreshing it. There you go.